Okay, here's my latest invention the shoulder pad tripod. I wish I could put it on me since I'm the only one filming. So it'll be kind of hard to do. You notice the curved shoulder pad here. This is a PVC pipe shaped like that. You can only get that one at Home Depot. And this shaped pipe here is a half inch pipe that fits into a three quarter T. Three quarter T, see the two T's and the T here. But this pipe here is in a half inch family, but it fits right in the three quarter. But you can only get this little curved piece here at Lowe's. So when you're gluing this thing together, don't glue this part right here. Don't glue this and don't glue that. Glue here so it won't move. Glue here. Glue here. And I can see I got the handlebars on it. Glue that in there so they won't be pulling out. Don't glue this here. Because if you got uh, like a little Sony camera. Oh Lord, I need to grease that. But anyway, here to turn sideways and film sideways so don't glue that and notice in my tripod on my previous videos how we cannibalize the uh, Vibitar camera that's got the level on it so I can put that out and show you oops so take that out and show you how I got a boat down in there holding on top of the tripod on a quick disconnect quick disconnect so I leave this pipe free I got it kind of tight because I want it tight I bang, bang it with a hammer a little bit got a little too far in there and then this paint that I got on it does that as well and then you just put your camera your mountain your camera down here kind of hard for me to video and hold this thing too but we'll get over it and see this little access panel right here I put that in there for extra uh, lighting or anything like that. Now, if you right hand it, you want to put that on this side. Or you might want to do it on both sides. Leave this access so I can pull this plug out, which I did not glue this plug. I can pull that plug out and attach a light or something like that on it. The rig fits over my shoulder as such. You know, it fits on my shoulder, but the good thing about this rig is that I can, let me show you, I can fold it up, see here, how it folds down and into one big piece, let me back up, now you see how you don't need no more than, what, 10 inches, well, maybe more than 10 inches, about a foot and a half, maybe about a foot and a half to uh, to do your thing there so I got my T here two of these in it I don't know what you call this I just saw it at Lowe's but I did not see them at Home Depot and I didn't see this at home Lowe's but I found at Home Depot now before you glue this back here make sure you put this foam on there first because if you don't see you won't be able to get that on there because this right here is fatter and you notice how smooth connections I got this right here it's cap another little piece in the center to glue it together the, the little two inch pipe and then my uh, what is that 30 degrees or so my 30 degree elbow that'll make it tip back down you know if, if you want to you could cap it off but I, I kind of like that because, because I can put my hands here give me a gripping place without it being in the way see how my hand down here I, I got plenty of room here and if I had the camera I could hold both hands in there without that being in my way that was my thinking but you do it the way you want to but a shoulder rig harness uh, this wasn't really cheap cheap but because these little Pipes here is not all that cheap for PVC concern, you know. Cheap enough, but not cheap. I guess I probably got, what, $20 in this thing all together with the foam. 
Now they make a foam that I got from Home Depot. And I mean, it fit perfectly over this quarter pipe. And cut this foam with scissors or razor. If you got scissors, it just go whack and give you a good even and a pretty cut. Not like, see where I done this one with a knife and how raggedy it came out. So if I had done that with a, the scissors when I learned right here, see how good the scissors came out? Now if I hadn't cut that with that, I should have cut this with a with scissors. I learned the hard way. So I'm saying you don't don't use a knife or a razor and nothing like that to come out crooked. But use a pair of scissors. To cut this foam is easier and it give you a lot better and cleaner knife, a nicer cut. And okay, this, this foam is gonna have a seam on it. I always turn this seam upside down so when your camera rig is on you, they don't see that seam. So that, that seam will be on the bottom. So glue all that together because this you're gonna have to glue this one. You know, a lot of them. You don't glue, but this one you do glue in places you do glue and places you don't glue. Now, of course, you're not going to glue the um, fold-up part or you won't be able to take it with you, carry it. That makes it portable, carryable, and see, so, yeah, I can set it on the floor like that. And now I got a, a, a stable camera like that. And that's a neat little comfortable I mean it was pretty comfortable too nice and then if I had my tripod but I left it in my storage I could show you how even this could I press against my chest get a really tight shot zoom it around and shoot so not bad I know I'm shaking all over the place see that's what I need I guess I'll be doing a lot of editing in this thing but anyway, this is some of my shots with my little JVC camera, which is a pretty good camera for the age of it. I think this is probably one of the first generation uh, uh, 1080p cameras. But this camera shoots for some reason better on the hard drive and transfer it to the card than shooting it on the card. I don't know what's the difference there or why, you know, but I get better video coming off the hard drive and then copy it to the, the chip. You know, I get a better picture for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe because my card is not as good a quality as that hard drive or may not be as fast as that hard drive or, or you know how it is when you do a microchip card. They're never faster to the bigger cards anyway. But you can get around that by putting it on the hard drive first and then transfer it uh, back to your card. And then I put it, the, card, the whole card in my computer slot and download it. You can also hook it, the camera directly to the computer, but that's just too slow for me. I don't, I don't like the speed of that. I get the same thing done, but... If by the time I copy it and put it back over there, it'll be off. I can get it directly. It takes it really slow for it's downloading it directly from the camera. And then you can accidentally, when you format it, format the whole internal stuff on it. And boy, what's a doozy to that? And then you got to reset it to the factory settings. And if you got anything you got saved in there, you done lost all of that. So. Just be careful when you do an internal floor mat. Make sure you pick the correct format because it's got two of them in it. So this thing got like an 80 gig hard drive, so it can be a while before you format it. But uh, and then it allows you to pick just which one you want to download. I don't have to to transfer all the files to my card. It allows me to pick just the one that I want. I can pick the card and and um, pick the scene that I want or the latest video that I did and download it to the card and and save my hard drive and I still have a permanent copy on my hard drive and I got one in the computer so that 80 gigs will take a long time to burn up then every blue moon I clean it out when I'm sure when I'm absolutely sure that I got everything that I got on this camera in my computer and then I format it and start all over 
All right, we thank you. Give it a try. Go check out my video of how I did, uh, cannibalized this Vivitar camera and all got all of these wonderful parts that made this camera. That's got the level, the level on it on on the uh, head. Most of them don't have that level right there. It just be blank. All right. Have a wonderful day. And we thank you for joining the TP channel.